how to create quiz videos for YouTube in Canva. Today, I'm creating quiz videos for YouTube in Canva. Make sure to watch until the end so you don't make any mistakes. Okay, so the very first step is to create our quizzes questions. To do this, we're going to be using ChatGPT. Here, I'll be inserting my prompt and let ChatGPT generate a set of questions for me. Here is a prompt that I will be using. Imagine you're a teacher and you teach general knowledge. Please prepare a set of 10 questions in a tabular format with two incorrect answers and one correct answer, mixing the answers between A, B, and C. Once I click on send, ChatGPT now will provide a table of 10 quizzes with the correct answers listed at the bottom. Next, we will create a video with these questions using Canva. So now that I'm logged into my account and I'm in the Canva homepage, here I'm going to be selecting uh, videos. And then I'm going to click on create a blank right here. And this brings us to the Canva editor page. First, we need to select a background for our video. You can use any video or image, but I'll use a spiral video background for a good engaging impact. So for that, I'm going to be going to the element section. And here I'm going to be searching for spiral background. Then I'm going to go to videos and click on see all. Here, as you can see, you'll have multiple options. Go through them and select the one that you like the best. I like this burgundy one right here. I'll click on that. It will appear in the middle of the video. So now what I can do is I can right click on that video and you'll see this option right here, set video as a background. So I'm going to be clicking on that. Now my background is nicely placed in my design. Here, as you can see, the default page duration is 30 seconds by basically kind of taking it to the left. I'm going to be shortening it to 15 seconds. So now we will add the quiz elements to our video. So first of all, I'll click on the text tab right here. And here in the default text styles, you will see add a heading. So click on that. Then I've replaced the text with choose the right answer. Now I'll kind of change the font, the size and customize my heading. So here in the phone section, you'll have multiple options that you can go with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with a couple of them to see what I like the best, but I do suggest that you go with a bold style. So for instance, I'll go with Leek Spartan right here. Now I'm going to go to color section right here, text color. And then uh, I'm thinking maybe I can go with a yellowish color. So what I'll do is I'll click on yellow. Then I'll go to this plus icon and then I'll just like kind of play around with the kind of undertones of my color. Then I'm going to be going to effect and here in the style section, you will see multiple options. For example, shadow, lift, outline, splice, but for the sake of this example, I think I like uh, shadow the best, so I'm going to keep it as that. And maybe I will decrease the phone size just a tiny bit. And then uh, last but not least, I'll be kind of placing my heading in the top section, just like that. So next, I'm going to be making a copy of this text right here. So when you click on your heading, you'll see this icon right here. When you click on it, it will duplicate on your line. I'm going to be removing the effect. I'm going to click on none and then I'll kind of make it smaller by clicking on this icon, decrease phone size. So now I'm going back to ChatGPT and I'm going to be copying my first question. Go back to our design, delete the text and paste it to the box just like that. So now I'll do some further adjustments to my text, like changing the color, decreasing the font. So this is our question, the first one, and we have nine more questions to add. So I'm going to be numbering each question. So to do that, I'm going to be going to the elements tab again, and I will search for a shape. So as you can see, here is the shape section. 
when you click on see all you will have access to multiple shades so for uh, my questions i'm going to be using the circle right here so i'm going to click on that so now i'm going to customize the size of it as well as the color i'm going to select a black one like this a really simple one and here what you can do is you can go to border style and you can select the first one and kind of play around with the border weight then you'll see this border color option right here i'm going to go on that and select white so as you can see we now have a nice kind of frame over our circle and now i'm going to place it before our question and further adjust it accordingly I'll add a text box. I'll go to add a subheading and here I will write number one. Go to my font and in the documents font section I will select uh, the exact same font that I used for my other text. I'm going to place this one in the middle of my circle. So now I'll zoom in just a tiny bit and adjust the color as well as the size to make it perfect so our first question is ready now we will be adding our answers first um, we will need to create the answer box um, simply by going to the element section again um, we're here in shapes we'll stay on that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to be adding this rectangle shape right here simply by clicking on it so now I'm going to be changing this color to white, just like that, and adjust the shape to create a perfect answer box that I can use. Now I'm going to be positioning my box on the left side of my video under the question, just like this. I'm going to be making a copy of my question number right here. So how I'm going to do that is I'll select these two symbols together just like that click on group and then when I click on it again I'll see this option of duplicate so I'm going to be clicking on that now I'll move it next to my question box I'm going to select both elements just like that by pressing shift key I'm going to click on duplicate and position them basically in a ascending order now I'm going to be removing my numbers and add A, B, and C as an answer options in the center of the circles. I'm going to go back to ChatGPT, copy the answers from here and paste it to my box. Now I'm going to come to the default color and default kind of like text and I'm going to adjust it accordingly kind of change um, the font size as well as of course the cover to make it perfect. So now that our first question as well as our answers are ready, we will move on to adding a timer to our video. An important note here is timer videos, so here in Canva, require often a pro account, but do not worry because I will show you a free way to do this. So for that, I'm going to be going to Google and search for free countdown timer for video. I'm going to be clicking on this second option right here. You'll see multiple options. So just look through them and find a one that you like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on download. Here, as you can see, the video is now downloaded. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go back to Canva. Go to the upload section right here and click on upload files. And here, all you have to do is to select a video and then we're going to go to, to the element section again and search for frames. Again, click on the circle frame and now I will carry my video inside this frame, just like this. So now when I click on my video, I'll see the scissor icon right here. I'm going to now click on trim and kind of adjust the length of my video. So now I am adjusting my frame and my video. Then I'm going to go to frames again and I'm going to choose a rectangle frame. I'm now adjusting the size of my frame. 
going to photos within the elements tab and now I'm going to look for an interesting picture related to the questions topic. So for instance, I'm going to be searching for friends. Here I'm going to click on photos and see all and select the picture that goes along with my team. I'm taking the picture and placing it nicely in my frame. Now you can further customize your design and make it as eye-catching as possible. So as you can see, I kind of played around with how I placed everything and even found a better flag picture from the available ones here. And now I am officially ready to add a new answer box to show the correct answer. To do that, I'm going to be copying one of the answer boxes here. So for instance, this one, just clicking on duplicate, and then I'm going to be changing its color to green. I'll place it here, I think, in the bottom left corner. And then next is to add animations to our video. So you'll first need to group elements to make things easier for you. And to do that, we will first select um, our first answer right here. So I'm doing that by simply pressing on the shift key. Then I'm going to be clicking on this group icon right here. If you remember, I already did this for all of my answers, but please do group every single one of the answers before you move on to adding animation. This will make your life so much easier and everything will stay as clean. So now I'm going to select all my elements, just leaving out the timer as well as the green box that I just added. Then I'm going to be clicking on animate right here. And here in the basic animation section, I'm going to be clicking on fade. So for the timer and the green box, I'm going to be going with the animation pop, this one. Now let's go over the most important part of this entire video. First of all, I will adjust the animation timing for our first question. To do that, I'm clicking on my question and later click on this three dots icon right here. Then I'm going to be clicking on show timing. You will now notice a timeline here in purple and I want this question to appear after half a second of starting the video. So I will adjust the timing accordingly. Now that I adjusted my first question's timing accordingly, I will move on to my first answer. I'm clicking on my first answer and adjusting it accordingly. I'm now doing the same for my second answer, clicking on it and adjusting it accordingly. Now the third answer, again, adjusting it accordingly. I will now adjust my timer to start after the third answer and end after five seconds. So my third answer is here. I'll be adjusting it to appear right after my last answer and I'm going to make it end after five seconds, just there. And last but not least, I'm going to set the green box to appear after the timer ends. So our timer is here. I'm going to make sure that our green box appear right after our timer. Now that all elements are nicely animated, let's add some audio effects. So first I'll play the video and pause it just before my question appears. Now in the elements tab, I'm going to be searching for cork. Then I'm going to go to audio. Here you will see multiple sound effects that you can use. And I'll be using this one right here. Now that I chose a sound effect for my question, I'll do the same for the answers as well as my timer. So for my answers, I'll be using a notification sound. As you can see, I stopped my video just before my first answer arrives and now I'm going to be adding my notification sound. I'm going to be continuing on doing the same thing for the rest of my answers. Now that I have my effects for my questions, I'm going to be moving on to my timer. For that, I am searching for a timer audio. And once I find a one that I like, I'll be clicking on it to add to my video. Last but not least, we will find a sound effect for our correct answer, which will be um, the green box. For that, I am searching for logo ascend. And here I'm going to be selecting a sound that goes with um, the green box. Once I find a one that I like, I'll click on it and add it to my design. Now come here and select all these elements and delete it. Don't worry though, we'll bring them back. 
Then what we're going to do is we're going to download the video. So for that, I'm going on share, click on download and here it's MP4 video and I'm clicking on download button right here. So after we downloaded our video, we're going to be coming here and clicking on the undo button to bring all the elements back. There we have it. And now I'm going to be going to the upload section and I'm going to upload the file that I just downloaded. Uh, now that the video is downloaded, I'm going to be inserting it to the background and here I'm going to be deleting all my effects. Next, we will find question related images. So before we jump into that, I'll going to go back to chat GPT and just check the general theme of rest of the questions. So I'm going back to Canva and I'm going to go to elements and now search for water. Once I find a picture that I like, I'm going to be clicking on this three dots here and then click on add to folder. Now I'm going to create a new folder and name it quiz one. I will continue to save images for each of my questions. So I'm going back largest planet. So I'm going back to Canva. I'm searching for planet in the element section. And once I find a picture that I want, I'm clicking on the three dots and then I'm going to say add to folder and add it to my related folder. Now I'm going to be going to the apps tab. I'm going to be searching for bulk create. Click on this one. And now I'm going to select enter data manually. I'm going to be clearing the uh, existing data. Go back to ChatGPT. Now I am copying my table, coming back to Canva and pasting it. I will now be adding a column for my images simply by clicking on this button right here. Then I'm going to kind of click on my uh, box and choose the related image just like that. Once that's done, I'll click on done and start to connect the data. Now I'm selecting the question number, click on connect data on the top bar. And now I'm going to be selecting the first option right here. I'm going to my question and clicking on connect data. I am connecting with the question section, which is MT2. I'll continue to do this after all my answers are nicely connected to the data that they're supposed to be linked with. Last but not least, I'll connect my image with the data right here. And once everything is linked accordingly, I'll be clicking on continue. So as you can see, Canva now replace all the relevant questions with the relevant slides get to look through the slides to make sure that there is nothing that is overlapping. For example, this font is way too big for this slide. So I'm going to be coming here and decreasing the font size. After that, all we have to do is to go to ChatGPT again, check for the right answer here and move the green box to the right answer. Now I'm doing the same thing for the rest of my questions. Putting the answer box on top of the correct answer. I'm right clicking on it, going to layer and click on send to back. And there we have it. Once you do this for all of your questions, you are now ready to download your video. To do that, I'm going to be going on share, click on download, select MP4 video from the available file type options and click on download. 